Hi guys, it's um, December of 2022 and I am here to feature my necklaces. Most of them are um, vintage and um, these have been acquired from flea markets, th thrift shops, antique shops, um, eBay and um, everything else in between. Some of um, these um, vintage items have been uh, given to me as well and uh, it has been three years since I last filmed my necklace uh, collection video. Um, I have all my necklaces lined up here. I actually have tons. It may it may take a long long time before I could show you each and every one of them but I think we'll start off with my uh, gold tone um, necklaces. I was going to divide this initially into um, beaded and um, gold tone and rhinestones but uh, since I have everything else here, everything else laid out on the bed, on the table and the floor, I might as well just go ahead and do this. So we'll do uh, gold tone first. So this is like a matte um, hammered um, this is unsigned and it's just really, really uh, beautiful. I, I will try not to talk much, but I will uh, try my best to um, describe or if I could remember where I got this from, I think this was from the flea market. Okay, so as you can see, this is unsigned and uh, it's just really, really beautiful. The back, all right. Next would be another piece which is this. This one is beautiful. And um, this is by um, Monet as well. It does not have a shiny finish. So it has that matte um, brush uh, uh, look to it. So it's Monet again. Another one is one of my favorites. Most of these I have not even worn, guys. Uh, I just love to collect. Oh, what happened? Okay, here it is, guys. This is beautiful. It's a collar necklace. It's like a Cleopatra um, style. It's beautiful, as you can see. I should wear that. <laughs> okay, so... Next is this, another Monet piece. It's just uh, beaded. I just came from a 21 day cruise guys and um, I did um, bring a lot of my vintage jewelry and I was able to showcase <laughs> um, some of them. Okay, and wear them finally. Next is another, um, is this a Monet piece again? This is beautiful, this is quite shiny. So um, look at that, it has like this, um, snake thing going on there it's beautiful and um, is it signed i don't think so maybe it is but uh, i just don't have the time right now guys okay i'm trying to put them one by one so you know it's um i can show you um the beauty of each one of them all right so this one is a designer piece it's a vintage of course and um, this one is from Van Wyck Bijou. So I've seen some of his pieces that are online. They're really, really expensive and very, very rare. It's a very chunky and heavy piece. It's, um, yeah, very, very chunky. Next would be this. That's just a plain monet and um it's a uh, very shiny is gold um said of course uh the expensive gold one but it's gold tone so you could what one good thing about this is that you can just clip any pendant that uh you want next is another monet piece so this is like a multi-layered um chain Roll, is is that what you call a roller chain maybe but um yeah it's a beautiful piece guys so 
that's another Monet and this one is another Monet you can see I have a parure for this one I actually have the earrings and um, the bracelet for some reason I should put them together though and uh, I'm thinking maybe I should put a a video featuring my um, set jewelry set and um, this one is another vintage piece it's plain so um, I got duped actually I thought that was a Givenchy at first but uh, clearly <laughs> it's um, not so I had to uh, complain but anyway uh, I think I only paid 35 bucks for that so I'm good <laughs> And this is another plain, um, plain, uh, it's like a wheat necklace. Um, the texture is very, very rough and odd. It's like woven. So, um, yeah, it's versatile though. So you can just put in anything that you want over there. So this one is a two-tone, um, necklace and um if you don't have a trained eye of course you would mistake this for like the paloma picasso or elsa peretti um tiffany piece or it could be like a david human dupe <laughs> uh, david human so um yeah so um it is two-tone the excess are in gold and uh it's a double it's a double wired um double rolled i should say double layered and it's unsigned okay and i have another okay one of these and um this one is very tricky guys okay the the closure on that one it has the s shaped it's um very very tricky to close because sometimes uh, the metal gets um, twisted and at one point I got stuck there I couldn't take it out <laughs> and yeah next would be I'm sorry for the clanking of course it's going to make a lot of noise next is one of my favorites I have worn this um, several times and that is a vintage um, Jaguar and um, enameling and rhinestones it's really really beautiful it's um, a vintage one i don't see any um any tarnishing at all and i have not been very very careful in storing these guys i just put them all together all gold together some some of them have rhinestones and um thankfully well i hope uh, it's not gonna get scratch look at that it's not signed so some of these are unsigned beauties okay so this one is a uh, franklin mint um very shiny 24 karat gold uncirculated authentic caribbean coins <laughs> that's just how how I, I could put it and this is a collectible of course because it's by um franklin mint this is very very chunky guys and it weighs it's very heavy okay and next is um this uh, it's gold tone but i love it because it has pastel uh, colors or stones or cabochons and i think this is by uh, napier or trifari I cannot uh, can be too sure about that, but it's one of those two because I don't have my magnifying um, glass with me right now. Okay, and this one is a um, vintage Monet, and I just love how it clips here. It's a button. So it's beautiful. It's enamel and... Uh, Guys, it's just th that Cleopatra effect. It's just beautiful. Monet. You can see. Monet. Next. Next would be 
this another Cleopatra thing. <laughs> I think this is by Trifari. If you've seen my previous videos, I had a more in-depth review as how much I have paid each one of these pieces and where I got them. But I'm just out of time at this point. I'm trying to put as many necklaces as I can showcase and fit them all in a 30 minute video. And then I'm going to do another 30 minutes. Okay, so that has a black uh, cabochon. Another one that is a semi parure. I have a pair of earrings for that. It does look like Egyptian um, collar again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what else? Next would be, I have another uh, Monet piece here and there you go. This has a um, a bracelet. I can't find it, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just right here. It's beautiful. Those look at those um, colored rhinestones. Um, if you can see, some of them are in green, pink, white, blue. So, um, yeah. This was expensive. I got it from the um, flea market. And since I'm opening, I think they call it a torque necklace. That's a torque necklace. This is in silver though. And um, that's uh, vintage also. It's woven um, Mexico. So it's 925 and um, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Next is um, this, um, Unsigned beauty again. It's like a gripois <laughs> um, style, and uh, I just love it. It's uh, it has different colored stones as you can see, and um, what else can I say about that? Uh, it's just unsigned. I don't know who it is by, but uh, it doesn't look to be a it doesn't look like it's a sloppy designer or something. It's really really beautiful, guys and very well made next is this um this looks like a um gucci-ish or chanel-ish uh, type of necklace but um it's vintage it's it's vintage and it it looks like copper and um it is not signed <laughs> next is this this is a bean, bean necklace all throughout. It has like a magnet um, clasp. It has a double clasp. It has a magnet clasp and at the same time it's a fish hook clasp. But um, I love it. it. It's the bean shape type. Next is a um, two tone. This is beautiful guys. That's beautiful. It's very very elegant it has rhinestones and um, I thought it was a Juliana the seller told me it's a Juliana but uh, I've seen a similar one online and I think it's um, it's from Hobie next is this this is still gold tone and um, I do not read i cannot read what it says here this is like a murano does it look like murano or mosaic micro mos it's not micro mosaic and it has a signature in the back i can't uh, somebody can tell me what this is guys that will be you know much appreciated so it's signed but um i don't know who who signed it next would be this one this is another uh, twisted, it looks like this, twisted uh, metal, but it has an, an apple. Has an apple. <laughs> so, and a green leaf enameling there. So, um, yeah. 
I hope you can see it clearly, guys. Um, all right. Next is... Uh, I thought I was going to feature only the... Um, oh, no. They've all been tangled, guys. I don't even know what to, to feature. Okay. This one is another um, flat... Uh, What do you call that again it's like porcelain it's like porcelain it's double-sided so that's really really nice it's porcelain and um i i still consider this like a cam cameo um thing <laughs> okay next is this i just featured this recently newly acquired and that is a um juliana it has blue and um, white rhinestones. And guys, this is really, really beautiful. Let me give you, it's very shiny. And I'll show you the back, it's beautiful. Next would be, I don't know which one to, this, this is like, a um it is signed in the back this is um what does it say in the back it has a series of numbers and uh, um it's not uh it's not ceramic is it <laughs> it's like enamel enamel thing guys <laughs> so um yeah I'm making a lot of noise here because I'm pulling them one by one from my um, necklace stand. Another one is this. You can see that's really, really beautiful. It's, uh, I call that my, um, it's like a fruit salad enameled um, necklace. Okay. Okay. Next is a cameo. This is from, um, oh jeez, I forgot, from the French thing, the glass, the Limoges, Limoges company. So, um, yes, so this is a Limoges France. I think it's ceramic, if I'm not mistaken, it's ceramic. Next is this. This is this is by this is by um, Joan Rivers, and this is a locket. You can actually open it, and it has a B rhinestone inside. It's beautiful. It's um, Joan Rivers. Um, Jewelry, they're really, really um, pretty and well made. I have this necklace. And that necklace is... Um, it's beautiful. It, it has like enameled, different um, colored enameling all throughout okay and um i have some bits and pieces here that i could not untangle and i <laughs> i have this this is pink pink and um glass it's triple triple layer and um yeah this is beautiful guys i'm sorry it's not cooperating at this point uh, next is oh yeah yeah i hope i don't get to um destroy any of these pieces because these are um beautiful pieces okay i have here uh, it's all tangled 
Okay, this one is a uh, an imperfect specimen, but uh, it's beautiful. It's vintage and rhinestones with, um, it has a lot of tarnishing, but it's beautiful, guys. I restored some of the stones. Some of the, the stones are missing and it has a lot of verdigris. I tried cleaning it up already, but um, I could not remove it 100%, but it's, it's beautiful so it's like a very very royal necklace next is one of my favorites this is a um, I love I love those brown stones I think they're called topaz you can see topaz necklace and um, this is a short necklace, guys. You can see beautiful. What period? What time period would this be? It's like a long necklace, but uh, it's a short necklace. I'm sorry. Okay. But it, it's like this one is a long one. This one one is a long one, and um, this is like plastic. It's not glass. So it's not the, a topaz thing. So anyway, this is, this is a very long necklace again. I think it looks Victorian. <laughs> looks Victorian to me. Next um, is one of my newly acquired. I was supposed to feature this together with my beads, but uh, since I ha you haven't seen this one, because uh, I just got it from eBay. And this is from Pauline Raider. And this is a very, very long necklace. And you can do this dual. You can wear it without the long tassel and just make it like a three strand uh, necklace. So you can remove this. So um, I, didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that at first. But um, yeah, and this necklace, I just uh, restored it today. Uh, one of the pearls fell out. Okay, one of the pearls fell out. And um, yeah, that is signed, I believe, Trifari. Trifari. And it has a pair of um, earrings to, that go with it as well okay next is this i nearly got rid of this this is a beautiful rhinestone guys uh it's not signed i wanted to um get rid of this and uh just put it in my pile of sold uh ebay i that was a big mistake guys i put it up for 25 dollars only for probably 10 or 15 pounds because i just wanted to get rid of it and then i paid more for the shipping so um that really sucked <laughs> so um, this has blue blue rhinestones i think it's really really um uh well well made that's why you know um i didn't uh, it's not signed i didn't get rid of it it's um it's beautiful next would be all right i have this should i include the non okay let me just do this first because it's hard for me to all right so this one is this is a long necklace it's like an etruscan style i love this guys of necklace Look at that. They call it uh, Greco Etruscan style. Okay, it's a long necklace. And I like to wear this when I'm using a V-shaped uh, collar. Okay. Next, the feature would be... What is this? Oh, oh, this is a... I call it a ball necklace. What is this by? I think it's by Monet. Look at that. Egg drop. It's like an egg drop thing. 
There you go. It's beautiful. And next is this. I cannot remove it from here. This is a locket necklace. It's like a centurion. Is it a centurion? Okay. And I have here another long necklace from Trifari. It, this looks like a bullet. Here. Looks like a bullet. This is a long necklace from Trifari. Next is um, another long necklace from Monet. Oh, is it Monet? I think this is unsigned, sorry. This is beautiful too. It's nice. I like it. Look at that. Next is this. Um, I got this recently from from this New York. This is, I think, and it has this um, Etruscan vibe to it. It's made in India. It's beaded. It's not signed at all. And I have a long necklace here, and this is from. Look at the closure. I think this is from Monet. Could be Monet. It's beautiful. Okay. And what else do I have in here? I'm sorry. I, I'm just going to show you what is in here. These three, they are not vintage. <laughs> just uh, letting you know because they're already here. This one is just, a, um, I think, Chanel dupe. This one is a beautiful uh, rhinestones. I got this from Dillard's. It's beautiful. It's cute. And another one from Dillard's. This. These are new. I haven't worn them. It's like a ge geometrical pattern thing. They're beautiful, guys. <laughs> okay. Next is this. This is a long, it's like a Lariat necklace. Yes. You see that? I hope I'm not making you dizzy, guys, by moving a lot. <laughs> Next would be, oh, this one is not vintage, but it's here. Anyway, it's from J. Crew. That's a very um, multicolored, I call it the sunshine or happy necklace. And this is another one from, from uh, Dillard's. They had a sale, of course. I think um, it's gold tone and rhinestone. And uh, it's very chunky. And I think it's missing a square rhinestone. One rhinestone is missing. That's why they. it's on sale. Oh, geez. It's missing several stones. So I wonder where I could get those. Um, I can probably get some of those from, the, from Hobby Lobby. It's beautiful. It's, uh, yeah, very pretty. And I have another one again. They still have their tags, of course, attached. And um, this one is in pink, and that's from, yeah, from, and another one, it's new again, I like, I like that, from um, Dillard's, and this is from Lane Bryant, it's a long necklace, I love this, it's like a lariat rhinestones yeah so there you go guys um this is just part one part two is coming okay bye